Sri Lanka made it two wins from two at the Women's T20 World Cup with a seven-wicket win against Bangladesh. Sri Lanka, who shocked host South Africa on Friday, slipped to 25-3 in pursuit of 127 amid an inspired opening spell from 18-year-old Marufa actor. Bangladesh had had an excellent batting power play, but Chamari Athapathu and Anoka Ranawira slowed them down and helped force the wickets that saw Bangladesh slump to 126 for 8. On a straightforward Newland surface, Although there was an early waffle, Sri Lanka's batters orchestrated a methodical chase. Parshida Samar Wikrama struck 69 not out of 50 balls to complete Sri Lanka's second successive victory in this tournament. And Nalakshi De Silva an unbeaten 41 to secure victory with 10 balls to spare. Sri Lanka had earlier made a ragged start with the ball before recovering to restrict the Tigers to 126-8. Bangladesh capitalized on wayward bowling in the power play to reach 64-2 from 8 overs, but their scoring ground to a halt after Saab Hanamostari was bowled by a visibly frustrated Sri Lanka skipper. Chamari Athapathu, who attempted a monk cut earlier in the over. Athapathu, Sri Lanka's top scorer with 68 against the Proteas, was caught at mid-on for 15 off actor in the fourth over of Sri Lanka's chase, the seamers opening spelled the first moment of real quality in a match previously littered with mistakes by both sides. She had Vishmi Gunaran caught behind and bowled Anushka Sanjuani first ball, giving her figures of 3-0 after 1.3 overs. But Harshita and De Silva remained calm under pressure with a composed stand of 104, which first halted the Tigers' momentum and then clinically finished the match. With 41 from 30 balls needed, Harshita cut a no ball for four before swinging a big six over the leg side off the subsequent free hit. The win means Sri Lanka, who play Australia on Thursday, will likely reach their first World Cup semi-final if they beat New Zealand in their final group game. Even if they lose, they could still go through if other results go their way.